welcome to my channel. I'm Lucy and this is Geek for Teach. I really hope the weather's um, nicer where you are than it is here today. It's just that horrible, drizzly rain and it's really gloomy. Um, so I've tried to make the most of my sort of artificial and the natural light. So um, hopefully that's coming up okay on the video. So today I want to share with you my plan to make my first coat. Now, I first thought about making a coat a few years ago, but I kind of went through that thought process of, oh, it's gonna to be too difficult to do, it'll be too complicated, I'm not sure if I'm, you know, sort of ready for it. Um, and, you know, it was prompted by going into the shops and I'd always find coats I liked, but they were never, um, they were just never fitted right. It's mainly the sleeves would be like, you know, five, six, sometimes longer than that, um, you know, too long. Um, on my arms and um, yeah I just thought it'd be great to make one um, and get one to fit nicely. So I just kind of put the idea to one side um, and left it and thought you know I'll just wait and see when the time's right and you know um, wait for a pattern I suppose to come up that I that really took my fancy. So I was looking on Instagram um, fairly recently and you know, I hadn't really been thinking much about coats, and then this picture came up. Well, it was it was the Jennifer Loren handmade story, um, and there was this gorgeous woman on there wearing this equally gorgeous coat, and it was Claire from Claire Who Makes Things. Now, I've never come across Claire before. Well, not until then. So I followed the link, which took me to um, Claire's YouTube video where she talks about um, she talks about the coat and there was other photographs and stuff on Instagram to see. So yeah, I just thought, wow, that is a beautiful, beautiful coat. Um, and yeah, just thought, right, this is, this is the moment um, I've been waiting for. And went straight off to check out um, where to get the pattern and ordered that from the fold line. So the pattern itself is the Willa coat by Jennifer Loren Handmade. And um, I'll pop up a picture here just so you can see the, the models wearing um, sort of two different ways to wear it. Um, so I got that from the fold line and I ordered the copy shop version. Um, so that means that um, I got the, you know, the paper pattern in the post and then I just download the, the instructions um, and all the sizing charts and everything like that. So, in terms of what to make the coat with, as it happens, I'd also discovered fairly recently Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door on both Instagram and YouTube. And when I was watching Andrea's videos, I saw that she was making um, her daughter a beautiful coat from some fabric, coating fabric that she sells in her own online fabric shop. Um, she was making the 1960s coat by Sew Over It in this gorgeous bright red. So um, when, once I'd seen the Willa pattern, I contacted Andrea and said, you know, have you got something um, similar, uh, but in a different color that, um, that might be suitable for my coat? And as it happened, the, the, live, um, the live session that Andrea does every Sunday evening was coming up and she'd just had a delivery of the, um, of the coatings, the same one that she'd used on her daughter's coat. Um, she just had a delivery and she had it in um, you know in a few different colors and I decided to go for this absolutely beautiful petrol color so here it is so I think I yes I ordered three and a half meters and um, after looking at you know how much how much I would need from the pattern and I'll go through all of that in a little bit so it's this just beautifully soft coating. It's such a, just a lovely, lovely quality. Um, and it advises that this is washed at 30 degrees um, before I use it. So that's, um, that's something I need to get on with doing. Um, now I'm going to, the coat is lined. So I haven't got a lining yet, um, but I'm thinking of just, I don't know, maybe just a nice contrast just a plain colour and 
I mean, I think a pattern would be nice as well, but it's quite hard to find um, sort of patterned linings from what I've looked at. When you search for lining fabric anyway, most of what comes up is quite plain. Um, and yeah, I haven't lined many things, so that's still fairly new to me. Um, but anyway, I'd love to know what you think actually. Um, have you got any ideas of somewhere um, that you've got a lining fabric from? Um, could you recommend a good place to get it? Or have you got any ideas um, of what, what colours would be nice? You know, what would maybe contrast or complement this beautiful petrol colour? I'd love to hear from you. So if you drop a comment in the, um, in the description, well, in the comment section, that would be brilliant. Um, and really really helpful so yes I need to get that sorted soon but I can still get on with actually constructing the main part of the coat while I'm waiting for the lining so that's great so one of the things I love about this pattern is it comes in different cup sizes so it's really important to remember and I didn't know any of this until I actually started dressmaking but cup sizing on patterns is is not related um, directly to the cup size um, of a bra that you would buy in the shops so you have to be really really careful with that so what happens and um, what what you do to find out your sizing it's really really simple um, to do you just follow what it asks you on the downloaded instructions and basically what you do is you measure your upper bust and your full bust and you work out the difference between those to work out what your cup size will be on the pattern and it has a kind of um, normal um, for want of a better word sizing and then there's a uh, curvy as well um, which reminds me a little bit of the pepperberry clothes that you can get in different you know you can get them in kind of curvy and super curvy I think um, and it's just that's just about I suppose the different how much of a difference there is in those measurements but like I say it's really straightforward so um, according to the according to the sizing I am for cup sizes I am a C um, C to D cup and um, more towards C so what I then had to do was just have a look on the a table where the C cup was down the left hand side look across to find my full bust measurement and then once I found that I just went up the column and that told me what size to make. Now as you know if you've seen my other videos I tend to fall between sizes so I'm between bang in between a 14 and a 16 so I think there's two inches between the two in terms of your bust size so I am going to go for, I'm just going to go for the larger size, so I'm going to make a size 16 because apart from anything else, I probably want to, you know, wear it in um, both like the spring and the winter. So um, I want to be able to wear it with, you know, layers underneath or a thicker jumper. So I thought that the best idea would be to go for a size 16. The only thing I'm slightly concerned about is the sleeves and whether that will then make the sleeves um, you know sort of really big on me because I don't have big arms and um, so I'll need to just have a I suppose just when I'm constructing the sleeve then just check that over my arm and see what that's like and see if I need to to adjust it so that's the only thing but it's really really easy to follow that and just to give you an idea so I'm coming off a C cup and sometimes I wear a bra that is um, a double F. So it just shows you how very, very different um, that is. So it's really important to follow that and to do all of those measurements. Okay, so that's my plan for my coat. Um, I'd love to hear from you um, in the comments if you're thinking of making a coat or you've been feeling a bit apprehensive like I was. Um, or don't forget to pass on any recommendations or your thoughts about a lining that I could use. Oh, and I'll pop a link um, in the description as well for Claire's video where she shows you her version. Now, 
she does talk about quite a few different things on that video so I've put a timestamp in brackets um, there for you to, so you can go straight to that part. I'll also put a link to directly to the fabric that I got from Andrea at Beyond the Pink Door so you can have a look there and have a look around the website actually because she's got some gorgeous stuff on there. Uh, yeah so that's it um, I really hope you've enjoyed this and I'll be back with another video really soon. Take care guys, bye! Thank you.